Hello everyone, this is Unkyuli, a builder of MicroJournal. What you're looking at right now is MicroJournal Revision 5. And this is a distraction-free writer deck, which helps you to focus on writing. And this is a portable device, so when you turn it on, it will run with a battery. So the point of MicroJournal Revision 5 is that you can use any keyboard that you want using this USB interface. So you would connect a keyboard to this USB port. That keyboard will be used to write on this device. So we're gonna go through uh, some, some of the keyboard examples and see how it types. Okay, let's set up with a very simple example using a keyboard that has a USB cable to it. This is the keyboard that should be most compatible. So I'm gonna use a USB cable, plug it behind, and you can use this keyboard to type on. Okay, so usually if the keyboard does not have any anything else than just the keyboard and the cable then it should work. Some cases, a keyboard with a USB hub or some battery system may not work. All right, let's move on to the next example. Um, my favorite configuration is to use a keyboard like this. This is a wireless keyboard that has a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. So the benefit is that you can just plug this dongle to the device and now you have a wireless setup. So this will This is really nice setup because place the device without a cable and this is most clean setup and most reliable uh, working setup that I've found. And lastly, to connect to a Bluetooth low energy keyboard. So it's called BLE keyboard. And it would not work with a classic Bluetooth, but it will work with a Bluetooth 5 and above. So. This will be the uh, another wireless setup that you can do. In order to connect to this Bluetooth keyboard, you will need to uh, pair the device. So we will turn on the keyboard and then we will set it in a pairing mode. And you can go to, you can just click menu key, the M key on the device, and it will go to the pairing Bluetooth keyboard mode find the keyboard and once it finds the keyboard it's called pebble k3 and once you click another time menu it will pair and then it will reboot and once it's reboot you will see the ble uh, text on the on the bottom on the status bar and it turns to green this this means the keyboard is connected Okay, so you can also have a BLE keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard that could work MicroJournal Revision 5 as well. One of the thing about the BLE keyboard is that for this Logitech keyboard, when you pair it, it should ask for a security key. So you have to type certain sequence of numbers in order to pair. But in this case, it didn't ask. And um, what happens is that when you turn off the device and turn it on again, it will not automatically reconnect to the keyboard. So some it's not always the case, but some keyboard has this problem. So in this case, what you have to do is just put the, the keyboard in a pairing mode. And in a couple of seconds later, it will find the device and then we'll try to pair it again. And now you can see MicroJournal is connected 
Usually using BLE keyboard, you should be very easy to pair. You don't have to go through this pairing process every time. It will automatically connect. So once you have written your text, the way to send the text to the PC can be very simple. So there is an SD card that is located here. You can pull it out and then plug it into your PC and there will be a text file. In or you can send this text via Google Drive. So there will be a Wi-Fi setup that you have to do. But once the Wi-Fi is set up, you can press sync and the text will be sent to Google Drive. So we will try to search for Wi-Fi and it will connect to the Wi-Fi and it will send the text. And you will see the, the text that has came to the Google Drive. I'll show it to you just a second. All right, once the sync is complete, you can open your Google Drive from your phone or your PC and the latest file would come in a text format and such. Okay, so this is the basic features of Micro Journal Revision 5 and there are much more to it. And there are a lot of personalization features are available, such as you can change the background color, the font color, and, and so on. This is a DIY open source project and the design files, source codes, how to build this device, they are all open in GitHub and you can look at them and then you can build them. And there's also a build guide video that shows all the steps that uh, to build this device. So, or you can order from my Tindy store asking me to build it for you. All right, thank you very much and enjoy. Bye-bye.